Hey guys, it's me Jules again. Okay, so it is another episode of Time with Jules. Okay, yet again it is another episode of a Young Justice review. This new episode, episode um, 24 I guess, of the new episode, Performance. This new episode is pretty much Robin Center. I pretty much guessed that since we see an acrobatics performance and that just spoke to me. And this is gonna be Robin Center because when I think acrobatics in you know, trapeze artists, circus, you know what I think? I think Dick Grayson. Because this is base and it is basically the circus where he got started, where he and his family performed the Flying Graysons. Although at first I thought the acrobatics group was the Flying Graysons, and I thought this was a flashback. But apparently it was not, and apparently the team is undercover as a team called the Dangers. And apparently with Robin helping them, it was very easy for them for to assimilate, especially with their powers. What I really liked about this episode was that Rob, this was a very, very emotional episode for Robin. This was how he got started out as Robin. Sort of. This was the same circus where he lost his family and the reason why he became Robin. It was just so emotional how he, even when he looked into that poster, even just being there at that circus was just so, just so emotional. I mean, just think about going back to the same place where your family was murdered. I mean, sure, yeah, you got justice. You were able to avenge them, but still, it, I could only imagine what he was feeling. I, I just, even before Young Justice, whenever I even looked at Dick Grayson's history, it just made me so sad and so sorry for him. And that's what I really loved about this episode. It was so moving, so compelling. Trust me, when you read up on Dick Grayson's history and how his family died, it's very moving. That's what I loved about this episode. And also, another thing. Well, aside from the emotional stuff, seeing Roy and Connor in nothing but, well, in vests, <laughs> Exposing their chests and their biceps, that was kind of a bonus, you know, just for the hottie factor. And seeing Leech, a uh, Parasite. Parasite, wow, the design for Parasite was amazing because it wasn't just him, like in the Superman anime series, like blue, uh, purple skin. It was like grody and gross and so cool. I loved that new design. It was cool. What I did not like about this episode was, um, Superboy, why are you, you are one of the group of liars, you're hiding something from the team, Superboy, why, Connor, why, I love him, I love Superboy, I really do, he is the reason why I watch the show, screw Megan, he is still using the shields, which are obviously having an effect on him whenever he uses it. And he's, he's putting himself up for a fall, just like how Megan is putting herself up to fall, just like how Artemis is putting herself up to fall. And it's no wonder that Red Arrow also is suspecting him of being the mole. Because, well, obviously, just like Artemis and Megan, he's lying about something. He's keeping secrets. And also... Roy has another reason for suspecting Superboy to be the mole because the, just like in episode 22, I think, we, it is revealed that there may have been other things that Cadmus may have done to Superboy that we are not aware of. But still, Superboy, why? And also, it was stupid. Why the hell would you use shields again in order to fight Parasite when he stole your powers the first time? Why give him more power? I mean, yeah, sure, they beat him in the end, but still, it was kind of stupid using the shields twice against Parasite, against a guy who could steal your powers. You're giving him Kryptonian juice. And also, you're very... Superboy is very lucky that they did not suspect 
anything from Superboy. He, he just gave a very almost could have gone either way excuse, could have failed, could not have, by saying that it's a Kryptonian thing. Maybe him being Kryptonian allows Leech to gain heat vision. But still, that I, I, I would have thought that lie would have been just... <clears throat> but still, Superboy, why? Why? Why are you lying? You are setting up yourself to fall. Again, I'm sorry, I just love him. But seriously, that's what I did not like about this episode. He is setting himself up to fall. And also, Roy picking on everybody. Picking on Artemis is one thing. Picking on her is one thing. Picking on all of them... Okay, yeah, he has a reason. Megan's lying about her true form. Artemis is lying big time. And... Superboy is lying about the shield, but still, it, he's kind of pushing it. Roy is really pushing it. And again, moving back... This was an emotional episode for Dick Grayson. I loved it. Okay guys, that's all I have for tonight. I'll see you again later. Please subscribe for another episode of Time with Jules. Thank you.